In this problem, we have a function f of x equals 12x cubed, and we have to find this expression here. This is called the difference quotient. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So the way I like to do this is I like to write this down every time. So this is f of x plus h. So we'll write this down first, minus f of x, and it's all being divided by h. Just a good first step, just to have it uh, written down. So this is equal to, so now we have to figure out f of x plus h. So here is f of x. So f of x plus h basically means you want to evaluate the function f at x plus h. So you just replace all of the x's you see here with x plus h. So this is 12 parentheses, and instead of x, it'll be x plus h, just like that, cubed. So all we've done is we've written down this piece here, f of x plus h, and again, you just replace the x with x plus h cubed. Then minus f of x, well, that's just 12x cubed. And it's all being divided by h. Okay, now comes the fun part. So we have to figure out this x plus h cubed. So if you have it memorized, that's okay. If you don't have it memorized, there's a couple ways to do it. Let's just do it the way that requires like the least amount of like knowledge. So I'm gonna go to the side here and work it out. Let me use a different color. So we have x plus h cubed. And so one way to do this is to just write it three times because there's a three. So this is x plus h, x plus h, x plus h. Okay, and now we're just going to distribute. First, let's multiply these two first factors. So we'll FOIL. So x times x, that's the first one. That'll be x squared. This is in parentheses, by the way, we're only doing the first two. And then x times h is going to be xh. Then we have h times x, that's the inside. And then we have h times h, which is h squared. And then we still have this other piece here, this x plus h. Okay, let's keep going. So this is x squared. Then we can combine these, xh plus xh. These are the, basically the same, right? So this is 2xh. That's because you can write hx as xh, right? So they're the same. So you just have two of them, and then plus h squared, and then x plus h. Okay, so now we have to distribute again. So basically what we'll do is we'll take each of these terms and multiply it by both of these here. So we'll do x squared times x. That's going to give us x cubed. Then x squared times h. That's going to give us x squared h. Then we go to the next one, right? 2xh times x. Well, you multiply the x's, so that'll give you 2x squared h. And then 2xh times h, you multiply the h's that time, you combine them rather, so this is 2xh squared. And then we do the last one, h squared times x, which is just h squared times x. And then h squared times h is h cubed. Beautiful. So this is x plus h squared. Uh, I'm trying to see if we can simplify anything here. Um, I think we can. Look, there's a x squared h here. There's a 2x squared h here. So we can combine those, okay? Um, so this is going to be x cubed. There's really an invisible 1 here. So 1x squared h plus 2x squared h is 3x squared h. Likewise, the same thing happens here. There's 2xh squared, and there's 1h, 1xh squared here. These are the same, right? This is xh squared. There's a 1 here. So 2 plus 1 is 3, so you get 3xh squared, and then you're left with h cubed. Quite a bit of work um, to do it this way. There's another way to do it. You can use Pascal's triangle. Um, but if you don't know that, this will work, right? 
uh, or you can have it memorized as well so that also works okay so now we can go back <laughs> and take this and plug it in here so this is equal to good stuff 12 parentheses x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed and this is minus 12x cubed all being divided by h so now we'll go ahead and distribute let me go to a different color this is equal to so 12 times x cubed will just give us uh, 12x cubed and then 12 times this 3x squared h well 12 times 3 is 36 so this is 36 x squared h and then 12 times this same thing will give us 36 x h squared and the last one would be 12 times h cubed which will just be 12 times h cubed and we still have this piece here this minus 12 x cubed and all of this is all being divided by h all right some stuff should cancel yes yes it does look these 12 x cubes go away and we're left with all of this stuff now notice all of these things have something in common they have an h in common so let's go ahead and factor that out so you have h parentheses 36 x squared so 36 x squared plus and then we're pulling out an h from this middle term so we'll have one left it'll be 36 x h and then plus pulling out an h from this last term it has an h cubed so we're left with 12 h squared that's all being divided by h these cancel and so we end up with 36 x squared plus 36 x h plus 12 h squared and that would be the final answer it was a lot of work this is definitely one that takes more time and it's really because of the cube term right you has to you have to do all of that extra work uh, up here uh, with the x plus h cube hopefully this video has been helpful good luck